everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Hannah Hall and I'm a makeup artist for The Everyday Woman. So today I thought we'd take a little look at how to get our hair party ready. It is Christmas and we're going out. Um, maybe it's for dinner, maybe parties. We've got to make the most of this. So um, I've had my hair cut shorter lately. Um, so it's just been adjusting of how I would style it. So um, I've just done a little tutorial to show you how to get these lovely curls. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to apply a couple of products. The first one is going to be the Extra Large from Wow. Um, this gives an amazing root lift. You can see it's like a foam. So rub it between your hands and then just rub it through your hair. I've just got out of the shower. My hair is a little bit wet, um, but it's not soaking wet. So it's probably about 60% um, dry, so 40% wet, and then just rub that through the hair. And then I'm just going to put on a little bit of heat protection, which is the VO5 heat protection. Spray that through as well. I don't like to put too much product on the hair, but um, it does, it just gives it that little bit of hold and obviously that little bit of protection as well. So uh, I'll just dry my hair off with my trusty Zuvi. So off we go. That's just rough drying my hair. It feels really lovely. It always feels lovely when I use the Zuvi because obviously it's using the light to dry my hair. So um, that is, you know, uh, my go-to. It's just perfect. So to curl my hair, I generally use the fantastic uh, Babyliss wand. This is a cordless wand. I've obviously got the cord in at the moment. Um, you can see there that it's fully charged and ready to go. But as soon as you take it out, it will turn off. So it's red when it needs charging. And then as soon as it goes green, you know that you've got full charge. So I'll turn it on. You hear it talks to us. I love that. And then you can, you can see it's heating up on the first setting. And then you can go up to the second setting or the third setting. I think I'll go up to the second setting today. And I'll let that heat up. I'm just going to section off the top of my hair. So I'm going to actually just do it in two sections. So it's nothing too complicated. Keep the bottom section down. Obviously you've already got the heat protection on, which is great. So, sorry, trying to do it in the, in the phone is not easy. Right, there we go. Okay, that's the hair up and away. And then we've just got that little section to curl. Little doggy is around today, little Mabel. <laughs> so, all we do is we get a section of the hair. Make sure you've got a nice clean section, okay? And then I'm not using the, it does come with a glove, but I'm not actually using the glove today. And I'm going to curl it away from my face. Now, as I curl, it's going to give it a little twist as I go. And then you can see, you hold it for a few seconds, you don't hold it for very long, and then just take it out. And you can see that you get like a, a bend in the hair rather than a full curl. Because I don't want it too curly, I just want that lovely bend. So I'll keep going. So you get a section of the hair, like so. Nice clean section, get the rest of it away. If you get the hair, you give it a little twist and then turn it around the barrel, keeping the ends out because I want the ends to just sort of look a little bit cool so it's not too curly. And then just let it to cool down there. I'm going to show you on this side, if you can see, if I was to do it and I would end up with a full ringlet. So let me just show you this side if you can see clearly. So if I was to hold it there, and Mabel's back in. Hey, Mabes. Hello, darling. So, and then if I was to do that, then I've got this 
full ringlet. I don't really want the ringlet. I prefer this sort of undone curl. So, so that's what uh, what we don't want. So I will do. I'll do it a little bit more so you can see. So I'm giving it a twist, and as I twist, I'm then leaving the ends out, and I will just take it like that. You don't hold it for very long, and then as you take it out, it just gives the bend rather than a rather than the full curl. Okay. Now, if you feel any, you know, the temptation is to drag it through, but try to just leave the curls completely to cool, and then you get um, a really nice, uh, it will hold for longer. giving it a twist and then taking it around the barrel, holding the end out, you hold on to the end and I'm doing a curl away from the face. So that's quite key, just away from the face at the front. And I'll probably do two sections away from the face. The first one, then I'll go the second one as well. I'm giving it a little twist and then taking it round giving that undone effect. You don't have to be too cautious with the, with the um, sectioning, just do it as you feel, don't worry too much. You can always go back in and recurl something if it's not done it exactly how you want. So I'm just gonna take that one down, let that cool there. Then I'm gonna go with this one. I'm actually going to curl it forward. So I'm gonna give it, oops, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a twist forward, that's it. And then I'm going to come in like this. I love the fact it's not plugged in because I can be anywhere with this. There. And then I just give a little bit of a bend in the hair. It's not so easy. So I'll go back with this one. You just do alternates, fine. I think the fact that it's a little bit messy and a little bit undone makes it cooler. So uh, it doesn't have to be perfect but avoid dressing it out. Just let it cool, let it cool before you touch it. That's the thing. So to get the back is always a little bit trickier because you can't really see, but all you do is you get a section. Obviously you're not plugged in, which is really easy. And then give it a little twist and then take it back. Yeah, really easy. Okay. Okay, so I'm going with the front now. I'm just going to swap hands so I'm not contorting. I'm just going to twist it away and then one twist, turn it around the barrel, hold the end out and then just let it be there for only a few seconds. You don't have to hold it for very long. I'm always quite mindful of the amount of heat I'm putting on my hair. You can see it just gives a lovely bend. Another tip as well is to have the barrel facing down rather than that way or, or that way. Um, have it down because that's the way you want your curls to go. You want them to go down. So just hold the barrel that way. And then that uh, gives it so that it's going to, the curls will fall that way. They're so um, sort of pliable and malleable uh, when it's warm, where the hair's warm. So you move it around to where you want it well, you've got the heat on it and then just let it cool and then it will set. It'll hold all day. See, I've gone the same way on those ones. I'm going to bring one forward now just to mess it up a bit. So I'm going forward, bringing it round. That's it. Leaving the end out. And just let it go.
it doesn't matter if it's if it's a little bit messy because I like that adds character <laughs> that's what I say anyway <laughs> And then you can sort of pull at it and just see, is there any other bits I've missed? And I think maybe I've missed one there. So I'm going to go up to that one. So I'm going to give it a little twist and then take it around the barrel, hold the end out again, the barrel down and that's it. That's my hair completely set. It's cooled down and now I'm just going to dress it out. So I'm just going to dress it out with my fingers and just give a feel. Mabel's around today. <laughs> Sorry, she was barking earlier. She uh, sees a cat and she'll be barking at them, telling them that she's boss. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's basically my party hair. Now to hold this in place, um, and I love it because it's just a bit of fun. Um, and so I would use the Amica. Um, it's a volume and matte um, texture spray. Now, I'll just spray it in my hair so you can see. Just gives it a little bit of a hold, um, especially if you're out on an evening. So I'd use this as an alternative to hairspray, actually. The reason I like it is it just gives, um, I don't know, I feel it's just a little bit, um, it gives a coolness to my hair. I'm trying to be cool, I'm trying to be young. Um, but you can see, look at that. I mean, but it gives this sort of matte, undone, feel to it um but i would say that if you do use this then you do have to wash your hair the next day because it does feel a bit it, it feels a bit gritty i would say so when i've used the zuvi which i absolutely love my hair feels baby soft and it's incredible um and then i obviously use um if i want to give it that curl i'm then using the babyliss wand which is brilliant because it's on the go i mean sometimes we're in the car heading somewhere and i'm like quick curl my hair <laughs> so um yeah i do my makeup and hair in the car generally um so this is brilliant because i'm going to plug it in once it's charged up and then and then i'll pop a bit of um a texture spray in as well just to give it that extra hold so um yeah, that's my party hair so uh, I hope you like it put in the comments um, how you're getting on uh, with your hair and um, and if you want any other tips please do let me know because um, you know it's nice to be able to do it together so thank you for joining me again lovely to see you and I look forward to doing more videos for you see you again soon thank you so this is Mabel. She um, is my little doggy. Um, she was the one barking earlier, so apologies about that. But she's just adorable, aren't you? You're gorgeous. She's always around. But um, she's got bits. Your hair's similar to mine. They do say you look like your dogs, don't you? <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.